teeth, it's not supposed to have water in. No. Does that mean the seal's broke? Right. Would it be like weather water? Yeah. Also known as rain. <laughs> Can you see it was leaking? What are you doing? Taking a burr off. So this is a the... Bur oh, I thought you said burn when you were... No, that's the alternator. No, the, uh, this is the spacer that runs in the gearbox output seal. Which, maybe you can pick that up. See that sharp edge? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I can see it. I don't know if this can. Hang on. Further out, further out, further out. There. We are going to try and get the prime mill back to you, aren't we? We are, purely because we're having a... Uh, Spatial overload kind of feeling and all these bits that are here on the floor I'm conscious that we're gonna lose them step on them at some point So we figured if we put it back together It needs to go back together anyway. Yeah, it does um, We have had a bit of a break, haven't we? We've had a bit of a break Yeah, we've been to Scotland Waiting on parts for Jish's bike we are. We're waiting on parts. Jish's bike is still here. It's out in the bit of sun that we've got today, which is quite nice. It has tanked out um, there drying. Yep. Let me see if that's... Yeah, we're waiting on another lever. Well, we've, the lever has come, um, so we've got two new levers. Um, but we're waiting on a cable, a clutch cable. And, yeah, the this tank is out here drying in the sun. Um, it's had the vapor rust put in it and then it's just been like washed through. So yeah, we're waiting on that. Waiting on things to carry on with Jish's bike. And so BSA thought, tank's well, in a box. Yeah, BSA tank is in a box. I'll open this here with my slippers. Um, we're going to put a fuel tap on that in a bit. Yep. And yeah, so we're going to do the primary and move forward with Ren's bike. Oh, the forks. The bottom half of the forks are outside from Ren's bike. Well, just dry enough and then they'll be polished. I feel weird to be back on this. <laughs> we were like carrying a load of momentum, weren't we? And then. We were. Say but then... stalled, but we just did lots of other stuff. Yeah. Including the garden. Yeah, we have had a stab at the garden today as well, which has been neglected. There's our new oil seal. We've taken the old one out already. He's going to be in there like that. That's good. That fits. It's good when they fit. But I feel like we need to invest in a blind for a while. Uh, that was what I was looking at a minute ago. <laughs> right. Okay. So we want to get this. Can I have the green nearly pad if you're not using it? I thought you were going to sit on it then. Just I can't put my knees on the floor. So, one. Nice. Sleeve. EP2. Where's your gasket? Up there. You knew it would be. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'm doing it. I thought that job was going to take longer than it did. <laughs> so, here, we have our lovely pot of EP2. One gasket. Is this the same as before, just sort of a light coating, don't need to smother it? Yep. Helps it take the show a bit better. It also, just in future, if anybody has to take this apart, makes getting the gasket off world easier. It also means, in most cases, probably in this actually as well, because it's a fairly decent gasket paper. Um, means that you can probably use this gasket again. Ooh. There we go. Now, I fit 
this, can I get to that nut, is the first question. Yes, I can. Okay. It's clean all of that is. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> and our little tabs in here. Like so. Are these a universal thing, these primary insides? So like if you've got a, I don't know, a different Royal Enfield that has one of these primaries on it, I don't know if there are the ones do like the Super Meteor or the Interceptor, if they have these on them, would they be universal? Um, like how they work in the insides? On classic bikes, it's, I wouldn't say universal because there are nuances and differences and the parts won't all interchange, but it's give or take the same. It's the same idea. Okay. Greasing in a felt washer. Is this a new one? Because this looks very clean, this felt washer. This is a new one. Took the old one out. It's not very easy to fit though. What's, what's what? the difference between a felt washer and a rubber washer and don't just say the material it's made out of like why would you have felt versus the other kind felt is a traditionally used sealing material okay so people were using felt washers before rubber washers were a thing So, we're going to get this on and then we've got to get inventive about holding that sprocket. <laughs> so, we have one sprocket in there, one tab washer in there, one shaft, one. Snug in it. Oh, nice. I mean, it's probably what you want, to be fair. Go on. You have been on there before. Go on. You're talking to it like you want it to have muscle memory. Just want it to join in. <laughs> but that's good. Here's the thoughts. A good fit. Seventy newton meters. So that was always there. <laughs> Nobody forgot anything. on this. <laughs> so this is I my do. janky Heath Robinson clutch locking tool. Hey, yeah, this is what you made, isn't it? Yeah. But it works. It's done up. So that is the clutch centre nut done up now. The sprocket nut is done up at the front. So that is now ready to have the primary chain adjusted. Take a special tool. Mm -hmm. 
So we need to adjust the prime chain. It's a bit sloppy. Lock that off. And the clutch can go back together. Then we need to air gap the new alternator that we've got. Fit that in place. What have you been doing? I have been around here polishing the exhaust pipe. You've been sending sneaky photos to your friend, haven't you? So I've been polishing that and I also polished the front forks and the gubbins that go with that. So there, that's where we're up to. It's all busy, busy in here. But it feels nice, it feels nice to be back in here and doing a bit. Yeah, but we'll be back out of here soon. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's nice. And there's something, I don't know, I was thinking this earlier, there is something, it's a little easier to be in here and doing these jobs when the weather's mucky outside. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's been a while since we've been in the workshop. We've been messing about going to the Cop Hill climb, riding bikes with some American bloke. You know, we've done the Scotland trip. It's, it's non stop, but we do have motorcycles to fix. Um, got a little bit to do on the CB250. At some point, we'll get to that. But in the immediate future, we've got to get Ren's bike back together. It's been here a, a, a good while now. Um, and I think we have pretty much everything to sort it out. So you've just seen me stripping the primary down. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll show you where we've got to. So as you can see, I've got most of the primary drive together. This is all talked up now. So we've got the new rotor. Um, obviously after we found out that alternator was completely cooked. Um, so we got brand new rotor. There's a new stator there, direct from Hitchcock's. Uh, the clutch is all back together. The primary chain is tensioned. Um, I'll talk about that in a bit. This is all talked up and ready to go. Obviously, we've got the cover on. There's new gaskets in there, new output seal, which was the main reason for stripping this down behind the sprocket there. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is put a new breather assembly on. So both breather pipes, the one from the case here, um, was quite badly swollen. I don't think it was particularly oil-proof. Um, and Ren's bike happens to have this kit here, which is not standard. Yeah, the breather assembly on Ren's bike is a little bit different. It's a modification that's available. Hitchcock's do a version of it, and a number of other companies do them as well, I think. Um, I was a little bit confused when I was looking into it because these are quite prone to wet something. Um, it's not a alien subject to me, uh, but I've only ever really found it on motorcycles that have a separate oil tank where the oil then migrates its way into the crankcase over time through the oil pump um, but these contain all the oil within the engine but it turns out the oil is actually in a chambered part of the engine and the crankcase are supposed to stay dry um, but what happens is as you leave them idle specifically if they're on the side stand the oil, oil migrates its way into the crankcases um, and what can happen then is you come to start it the bike will smoke a lot which is what Renz was doing because um, it had wet sumped but also it will kick a load of oil out of the breather and the breather from the bottom of the crankcases um, is normally just a straight pipe that feeds out onto above the chain so if you get any oil mist or um, vapour there it'll go onto the chain, it oils the chain for you um, problem being if your engine has wet sumped and it pumps a load of oil out of there it goes straight on the chain all around the back tyre and you can imagine where that ends up um, so this kit, which I'll show you, it brings the oil breather out the bottom of the barrel here, which is the top of the crankcases, and then you have this spigot that sits within where the uh, dipstick is, over here. So you bring a pipe into here from the crankcases, so any oil that actually vents into there goes back into the engine. Um, and then there's a breather pipe that comes off of this portion of the engine and sits over the sprocket there so still if you get any oil mist in when it breathes that goes over the um, chain but you're not going to get that mass of oil making its way all over the back tyre. I've actually purchased replacement hose and the breather pipes. The breather pipe is a flat pipe there to stop you drawing in any debris and then we have the main 
breather pipe there which will go from the crankcase round to that filler neck. So we've got to fit that, it's really simple, a couple of clips and a bracket, we'll get that in place and then we'll get on to getting that alternator on. If you know who I am I win the night will fall I'll haunt your dreams Little by little Piece by piece I take back what's been stolen from me Little by little Piece by piece Until I'm complete I'm complete. Little by little, piece by piece, I take back little by little. 